This captive jaguar was rescued by the Brazilian military as a cub and cannot now be returned to the wild, so is kept in this sanctuary. It's not the wild one we wanted, but a rare chance to see a jaguar close enough to smell its breath. You can see how the jaguar's actually moving around its world, being drawn by scent. So the nose is pressing down to the ground, pressing to the plants around it. It's really processing its world based on smell. It's quite interesting to see how wary these guys are with the jaguar. And they come in here with him every single day. And they're big guys, but they have an enormous amount of respect for the power of this animal, and I'm not surprised. Looking at the bulk of the head, it's so broad, so muscular, containing the vast muscles that drive a jaw which can power clean through the bone of a skull of a peccary or a tapir. As jungle cats, jaguars are up there with tigers as the big cats that are most comfortable in water. You can see almost the first thing that this animal's done upon coming out into the open is to head into the water to cool down. They're great swimmers and will actually quite often go into the water to hunt. So they'll hunt crocodiles, caimans, anacondas, all sorts of other large predators that inhabit the water. Definitely very, very comfortable down there where typically you think of cats as being completely out of their depth. The jaguar is the largest cat found in the Americas, an animal that can kill from no more than a few meters away and with a single bite to the back of the head. It is one of the most powerful animals in the world and for that reason, definitely going on my list.